if Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. are the greatest boxers, fighters you've ever seen, then I'm sorry. No, actually, I'm not sorry. I got to pull a Uncle, May the, uh, a Uncle Roger Mayweather on you and say, y'all don't know shit about boxing. I don't know shit about boxing if Pacquiao and Mayweather Jr. are the greatest boxers you've ever seen. You're missing out on boxing, man, if you're saying that. And it might be it may be due to the era that you're born in. I can understand that. But like like any fan with sense, you want to know something about the history of your sport? Just like the boxers know the history. Pacquiao knows. You bet your bottom dollar before him. That Speedy Dotto existed. That Small Montana existed. And these are Filipinos, y'all. Great Filipino boxers with tons of wins and all that good stuff. Um, Gabriel Elorde, the original Filipino Flash, existed. So on and so forth. Mayweather Jr. knows that before him, Parnell Whitaker existed. Well, he still exists. Donald Curry. Curtis Cox, Burley. Armstrong. Wade and the list goes on. So if they know this, which they are capitalizing off of you and us, because a lot of us don't know this, you should know this. They know they're not better than Floyd Mayweather. Know he's not better than Sugar Ray, a welterweight Sugar Ray Leonard. Manny Pacquiao know he's not better than a, a, a welterweight Speedy Dido. So why do you? Why, why do we think they're better? And again, this just might be to the era all of us are born. I, I'm assuming everybody in the YTBC is born sometime between the 70s and the 90s. All right. Now, if those are the greatest two fighters you've ever seen, think about how much boxing you've missed out on. Okay, you need to appreciate where fighters come from because they do. Before any fighter or boxer, or at least a good one, laces up any glove. Hits any bag, ties up any shoelace. All right, he does research. He looks into the history. He looks into the great past, so he can create a great future. All right. Sucker, you ain't nothing. They look at where they came from before they know where they're going. Sucker, look at you. So if Pacquiao and Mayweather Jr. are the best boxers you've ever seen, or you think they're the best or greatest ever. You've been sadly mistaken and you don't know shit about boxing. It, Floyd Mayweather Jr., he, he, this is just me now. He's in my top 40, 50 all time. Of all time. Best ever, he, he's in my top 40, 50. Okay? Be he barely, he, man, two years ago, I just would have said top 50. Now I say top 40. But even if he beats Pacquiao, he's still going to be in my top 40. Top 50. That's it. He, he's, he's hadn't surpassed. He's not, he hasn't done and he won't be able to do because of the career choices he's made what the, the prior great welterweights and middleweights have done. He won't be able to do it. It's impossible right now at this point in his career. Pacquiao, he's in my top 40 of greatest fighters of all time. Now, defensively for Floyd Mayweather, I, I, I can see putting him in the top 20. Top 25 or best defensive fighters ever. That's it. Uh, Filipino fighters who get knockouts. I can see putting Manny Pacquiao in the top 20. Top 25 ever to do it. Matter of fact, I got to put him even higher. Eat top 10. Because there's not that many Filipino knockout artists. Now, Filipino champions and winners and win streaks and and, and, and wins in the win column. That, that's high. But for just for knockouts, pa Pacquiao's pretty high. For Filipinos. And, and even for featherweights, he, he's, he's pretty up there. But until you break them down to a certain category, they're nowhere near the top 25, top 30 greats of all time. And, and if y'all disagree, I understand. But just do some research. You don't have to look in no box, boxing encyclopedia. You don't have to look up Burt Sugar. You don't have to look up Nate Fleischer or Nate Flesher. All you have to do is fix your little fingers together Go on your keyboard, your laptop, whatever you have, your iMac, your iPad, your phone, and just go to Google and type in greatest welters of all time. Or type in how 
Floyd compares to the greatest welters or how Manny Pacquiao compares to greatest welters. Two, we've had this discussion all the time. Comparing Floyd to his dad and his uncle. To me, in my honest opinion, he's on the same level as them. If Floyd Mayweather Jr. was to fight in the same era as Uncle Roger or Floyd Sr., he would have similar records, and I think he would have accomplished this, the same feats, but I don't know. Them dudes are fighting killers. They had no choice. They was fighting the best at all times, all the time. But I think he might have acquired a title or had a short stint, but he would have four, five, six losses like his uncle and his dad if he was fighting in that era. Just compare Pacquiao to to the flat, the original Flash, or Speedy Dotto, or Montana. He would have had this. I think he would have had the same type of career, especially if you'd have fought in them eras. A lot of wins to a few losses. And not as many knockouts. It's just my opinion. That's it. Just my opinion. And it's easy. Anything I'm saying you can refute. And we can have a discussion. We can talk shit and all that good stuff. All you have to do is go on Google or Yahoo. Whatever search engine you have. And just type in their names. Opposed to other great boxers. And you verily. Verily I say unto you. You will easily see that these dudes. Matter of fact. Go to the Ring Magazine. Or go to a Bleacher Report, any of these top boxing websites or top boxing organizations, they don't even have Floyd Mayweather Jr. or Manny Pacquiao in the top 25, top 30. They're not even in the top 30 for most on um, the list to say greatest boxers of all time. And you might have your feelings hurt. Because I know when I did the search a few years back, them jokers were barely top 50. Barely. Barely top 50. And some lists didn't even have them in the top 50. So, just do your research. Again, if they're the greatest fighters ever seen, or if you think they're the greatest fighters, you don't know shit about boxing. Anywho, hope that enlightened you a little bit. Hope it pissed you off a little bit. Because when you get pissed off, you, you, you're forced to do something about it. You, you, you call to action. All right, y'all. I love Boston.